D-Flow electronic bottle top dispenser is developed by D-Lab Scientific. With the motor-driven precision syringe, D-Flow makes your job accurate and convenient. To dispense liquid of predefined volume to make adequate as a stepper, or to dispense liquid at free will. D-Flow is surely a good choice for liquid dispensing, adequate sample and regions. The instrument is composed of two parts, the main body and the controller with display. On the control panel, there are four touch keys and one control knob. Press the keys to fill, dispense, preview, or set up protocols. On the back of the controller, from the left, there are power switch, zero is off, one is on, remote control handle port, Reserved communication port, charging communication port, and the main body port. The accessories include a remote dispensing pipe, which keeps the operator away from the region bottle. The control knob on the remote control panel is the same as the one on the control panel. To fulfill remote dispensing, a corrosive or volatile comic house, for the sake of human safety. Let's check how to assemble D-Flow dispenser. For brand new D-Flow or those have been put away for a long time, it is necessary to check both valves. Poke the valve slightly with the pin tool and ensure the ball can move slightly. Connect the filling pipe. Then install the main body on the region bottle. We offer five kinds of adapter for most common bottles in laboratory. For you to choose accordingly. Connect the dispensing pipe. Use the USB cable to connect the main body and the controller. At the end, you can adjust the view angle of the control panel within 45 degrees from perpendicular. Power on, light up the display. For brand new D-Flow, those out of use for one week or longer, those disconnected from the bottle or the dispensing pipe, it is necessary to pre-fill before dispensing. Press the key on the top right for two seconds. Drive the piston up and down for one round to perform the pre-fill procedure. Until the piston stops at the bottom, repeat three to five times until no air bubbles. Press the key on the bottom right for two seconds to set up protocol. When the volume number in milliliters is blinking, rotate the knob to adjust the volume target. The target volume is restricted by the number of add quotes. If there is no add quotes, namely n equals 1, the maximum target volume is 99.9 milliliter. When you make add quotes, Namely, n is greater than 1, the maximum is the quotient of 10 ml divided by the number of add codes. The maximum volume decreases as n increases. Press the setting key shortly to make n blinking. Then rotate the knob to adjust the number of add codes up to 50. Press the setting key again to make u blinking. And rotate the knob to adjust the feeding speed from the slowest level 1 to the fastest level 16. Normally level 7 or 8 is recommended. Press the setting key again to make D blinking and adjust the dispensing speed accordingly. Hold the left top key to fill, hold the left bottom key to dispense. To use the control knob, rotate it to adjust the setting numbers, click it to dispense or fill.
Now we work through a demonstration of dispensing. To dispense 25 milliliters for once, set the volume to 25 milliliters. Click the knob dispense. And Dflow does it simply. If you want to dispense again, no need for other operations. Click the knob again and get it done. To make 10 aliquots of 1 ml, set the volume to 1 ml, the number of aliquots to 10, click the dispense key to dispense the first aliquot, click again to make another, and so on, until 10 aliquots. Click the control knob to refill the flow, and go on making aliquots. If there is excessive reagent left in the main body after use, turn the return valve to perpendicular position, press and hold the dispensing key to return the reagent back into the bottle for later use.